always gonna be another aesthetic, never gonna be another you. So with that being said, be yourself. Oh, I'm just so sick of the nude furniture and the black and white. Like, would my channel be where I want it to be if I looked like, looked like X? You should be prideful in being yourself and being an outsider and being on the outside of the box. Be who you're gonna be and your people are gonna find you and are gonna mess with you because they love you. <laughs> Because they like who you are. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Nasa Priscilla. If you're new here and you didn't know, and if you did know, hey girl, hey. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of girls talk about all the aesthetics that's going on in the world and how unrealistic and unattainable they are. So, oh, I'm gonna be doing my makeup at the same time. So let's just get right into it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below. In all my videos, I always have something that I want y'all to comment. So let's see. Comment down below how you're feeling about like the aesthetics that we see today. And you know, if you have a problem with trying to fall into that box of aesthetics, let me know if this video helped you out anyway. But I'm not gonna hold you up. We're gonna get right into the video and I'll see you guys later. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is get my hair together. So I'm really just going to, I probably shouldn't be spraying for my desktops, but I'm just going to spray with water. I kind of like it when this hair is like big, but this side looks dry. So I'm going to put some conditioner on it a little later, but yeah, I want it big still. Okay, this is perfect. I'm probably gonna have to spray it again when I put my sides down, but whatever. But as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm gonna be getting ready and I'm going to be talking a little bit about what it's like to be in this day and age of social media and like trying to be yourself in a world where I feel like no one really is. So let's just get into it. If I'm looking down, it's because my mirror is down here, but I thought about this heavily after I've been seeing some videos on other apps about like about content no longer being the same and that's how I've been feeling so heavily for like years now okay we can continue while I wait for my eyebrows to get their lives together but I feel like my first introduction to a youtuber was Jayla Corian and she was fun like one thing that I will say is Jayla Corian is who she who she is now is who she was back in school like if you feel like she's like kind of bougie or whatever people may say about her she's been that way she's been that girl so she hasn't changed and i really respect that but she was my first introduction into like youtube and being a youtuber and content and how fun it could be and that was around the time where like instagram was also equally as fun there were influencers but even still they were fun and i think that was kind of before you know there was like brand influencing and kind of creating your own brand to appeal to bigger brands i think that was before that time frame but that's when content was its most fun lately within like the past few years content has changed completely and i think it has to do with a few things so there's the that girl aesthetic that we all if you're a woman we all know about and you know it's the soft life aesthetic it's like going to pilates classes and getting your matchas or lattes or whatever you choose to drink it's like an aesthetic that almost feels unattainable almost feels like unnatural unrealistic in the sense that like no shade to anyone who's really living that life or no shade to anyone who lives like that but it almost feels like it's just a box for a lot of women to try and fit themselves into for the sake of the aesthetic and like i said when brands kind of step their way into influencing i feel like that is when we saw a shift in what content creation versus influencing looks like because they are different i feel like as an influencer you have 
of following behind you and you're influencing that following and i feel like a lot of influencers do a lot of brand deal type of things because obviously the idea is that you can influence your following to connect to purchase from a brand or to engage with a brand whereas people who do content creation i feel like they truly enjoy the content creation part of it and if brand deals happen to come along the way then they do but they more so enjoy the content creation aspect of it right and i think one i personally feel like that's being confused those two are being confused or can be confused by people and two i feel like it's kind of being one is being overshadowed by the other and people who are people who are content creators or influencers are trying to like put themselves into a box that they don't necessarily fit in like for example i've seen tiktoks in which they're saying like they miss when the girlies were fun and i think it's because there's such a focus on being brand polished and being well put together and essentially fitting yourself into the algorithm of that girl aesthetic that's very easily being pushed out because i mean i fall into the i fall into the habit a little bit as well of getting caught up in seeing those day-to-day -day lives of people and sometimes it's like aspiring to be that sometimes it's like aspiring to mimic that and then other times it's like, I don't know, this is kind of boring. And so it's like everyone's trying to get into that lane and everyone is really diverting from who they are. So for me, like I'm not, I don't fit that girl aesthetic, like in any way, shape or form. Like I found myself in Marshall's the other day and I was like, oh, like I'm going to pick a perfume. Like, what does this smell like? And then I'm like, bro, you know how much perfume you actually have in the house that you barely put on? Like that's never gonna be my aesthetic like the the nudes and the like oh i'm just so sick of the nude furniture and the black and white like I, when i when i get to my next place i'm getting a green couch an olive green couch at that i'm trying to be like i just want to have fun i just want to be expressive i just want to like live my life you know and i feel like right now that's so difficult to do because of what is being pushed on all of these sites and what seems to be working but i just wish that we would all do what we enjoy you know like i'm just gonna do what i enjoy and whoever falls for it falls for it and whoever doesn't doesn't i think like the idea of making content creation slash influencing or whatever a career has like taken away from how genuine people choose to attack it like there was someone there was some tiktok that i saw and this girl was basically saying how like this whole like tips and tricks and algorithms and all of that kind of came out of nowhere and she's a youtuber i think but she had a good amount of followers on tiktok and she was basically saying like if you really take a look at it and if you really look at the people who are telling you, you know, post this many times, do this, do X, Y, Z, they don't have followers. Like, they're picking up and, like, taking the tips and tricks that they're seeing other people post and creating their own thing to get followers to essentially get money. So, like, the love of content creation has kind of went out the window and people are now just creating things to make money. And it then creates the same mundane videos that we see all the time and like i was watching local black child who's a youtuber who who actually like got rid of her first youtube channel that had 500,000 subscribers because she felt like her videos were like being shadow banned in a way because she is quite literally who she is she's quite literally herself she doesn't fit into the box of like mundane and i appreciate that from her and she was just saying how she when she watches a vlog like she wants excitement and that's what i feel like we're missing like like if you're gonna vlog 
talk to me a little bit you know tell me a story like get a little crazy i don't know just don't like the mundane thing is something that i have to get myself out of falling into the trap because it's like people like this so i'm gonna do it and don't even get me started with thumbnails please because that's a rant that i just went on on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram instagram is the same as my youtube that's the rant that i just went on like i'm so stuck on thumbnails because they are aesthetically pleasing and those that just look up just go to youtube and look up weekly vlog and look at the thumbnails that we see and there's nothing wrong with those thumbnails i'm just saying they're all the same and it's getting a little stressful for someone who doesn't want to fall into a trap of everyone else but knowing that that is what gets the girlies attention so i think the most important thing to do is like be true to ourselves and who we are and if we know that like those are not thumbnails for example me like those the four thumbnails or the three like i've done it i have i'm not gonna say that i haven't because that would be a lie i just recently did it well i wouldn't say just recently maybe like two vlogs ago i did it it's really hard to not do it because it is the aesthetic number one number two is pretty easy <laughs> i'm not gonna lie but it's not as expressive or i want to find a way to make it as expressive more expressive than what it is because it just feels like we're doing it because we know that people are gonna like it as opposed to doing it because that's what we want to do and some people like like i said before like me taking content creation seriously i don't want that to i don't want that to take away from me and who i am as an original human being i don't want it to cause me to fall into the trap of kind of creating the same content that everyone else creates because that's truly not what i'm interested in doing like i make content because it's fun for me and that's very clear because i may not have the most views like some of my videos get like 50 views 40 views and i keep posting because it's fun for me like if we just start doing things that are fun for us, then we won't have to worry about being that girl and fitting that aesthetic. There's always gonna be an aesthetic. Like there's like at this day and age, I just feel like there's always gonna be an aesthetic that someone creates or someone's trying to follow. And it's up to us to like be who we are and be who we wanna be. And I feel like the more that people, I feel like the more that people stick to themselves and stick to their guns then the more that the algorithm that we're trying so desperately to get into will recognize that like that's not all that there is to offer and there are people who do enjoy a fun vlog or a very realistic day in the life vlog like there are people who enjoy that and we don't have to step outside of our box to try and fit into some other box just for the sake of views and likes and clicks and and sound bites that go viral <clears throat> I look insane but yeah we have to get comfortable with like being who we are in a space where being yourself isn't celebrated in a space where being different isn't celebrated and that's something that i had to learn especially trying to grow my channel and having been trying to grow my channel for years now it's like would my channel have grown farther if i did x would my channel be where i want it to be if i looked like looked like x because jackie ina just went on tiktok and talked about how you have to have like that certain look which is so true and i'm not gonna i don't want to ruffle any feathers but she was basically saying like you have to be a certain type of pretty and it's so true if you're not a certain type of pretty then like it feels like you don't go up in the way that those other women do there's like please there's nothing wrong with we're all beautiful in our own ways. So don't feel like you have to be a certain type of pretty to do X, Y, Z. That's not what I'm saying. It just feels like, and results have shown like there, I'm gonna put the Jackie on the TikTok down below. There, it, there is a way in which people who blow up look like just being real. And so, that's another thing i'm like okay well if i looked like xyz if i had 
money to go get my hair done all the time or if my wigs were super late or like so many questions so many things that i started questioning about myself in the time of like kind of coming to realize that i'm just simply not not the aesthetic that the world wide web loves at this time but like don't don't question who you are and like what you bring to the table solely because it's not the same thing as everyone else like you should be prideful in being yourself and being an outsider and being on the outside of the box like being like everyone else shouldn't be your goal it shouldn't be your end goal no matter what you think it may have done for your channel what it may do for your tiktok like be who you are and stand firm in that and feel proud about that and feel good about that no matter what it does for your views no matter what it does for your channel like be excited to come onto your channel and be you because when the people who are looking for you looking for someone like you they're going to arrive for you in a way that like people who would if you faked it wouldn't right so be you and know that like your community is coming i don't want to like i feel like at this point i'm getting a little close to god he always trying to give me a word but look let me pull up the thing let me pull up the thing y'all there's this guy i'm in his um he has like a a motivational chat on instagram and he talked about mark 4 22 that says for whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out to, into the open and i was like that's so crazy because sometimes i'll be feeling like dang like my channel really don't really be getting too much love and you know I, I of course back then and by back then I mean like maybe two months ago will question like okay what is it about me what could I be doing that will bring people in right and I was like okay well maybe I need to you know change my uh, thumbnails maybe I need to adhere to the aesthetic that gets the views but it's like when the people that are for you are for you, they will come to you. And when it's your time to be revealed to them, it will be your time. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, well, like, perfect. I'm just going to be who I am. And I'm going to be very proud about who I am and being who I am on a day-to-day -day basis. Because, like I said, when you find your people, they're going to ride for you. Having a community of small people versus having thousands of subscribers. Dang, I messed my nail up. Having a small community versus having thousands of subscribers will always mean more to me because I know that my small community will ride for me. And that's what I want. I don't necessarily want to have thousands of subscribers who like could essentially care less about what I'm doing and, you know, are nothing like me. I want my subscribers to be on my same wavelength so that they never expect something out of me that I'm not prepared to give or that I just don't I don't give like that's just not my content and so yeah remember that like be proud of what you put out be proud of who you are and don't try and change that just to fit into a box that was never meant to fit you because in my opinion that girl aesthetic is dead it's done like that that means nothing to me anymore i don't have any interest in adhering to that fitting myself into that like i'm that girl aesthetic i'm the girl i'm the i'm the aesthetic now i don't really care about what other aesthetics are going on what other aesthetics they have out there i'm gonna start being the aesthetic and i'm gonna be perfectly okay with that period and i think if we all adhere to that then like we won't necessarily be worried about what is on TikTok and what their vlog looks like. We just gonna have fun. Like, to me, this is all about having fun. I feel like if I can't have fun with something, then I don't wanna do it, period. And so that's the same thing with this. Like, even if I'm trying to make content creation my thing, if I can't have fun doing it, I don't wanna do it. If I'm stuck here trying to edit vlogs that I don't like, edit videos that aren't me, that's not gonna be fun for me. And at some point, it's going to start showing through in your content. So faking to be somebody else in your content, it's going to show through. And people are going to be able to read through that. You want to be as authentic as possible. And if you're being someone that you're not, people are going to read through that. And then you're going to be set back. You may have 50,000 subscribers and you may be getting 100 views. 
because people are going to be able to see through that. That's how I look at it. Because sometimes I can see through an aesthetic. I can see through. I can th see through somebody who's trying to be, but they're not, you know? Which I'm not mad about. I feel like, like I said, we kind of all have had those moments where we feel like we need to fall into a specific aesthetic that's not us. Don't do that. That's not to say you can't do the, the trendy videos that you want to do, like the fun videos. Like, I personally enjoy watching a 5 a.m. morning routine because girl five in the morning is crazy but it's really not i was once a 5 a.m girly but yeah like that's not to say that you can't do those fun videos like that the whole point of this is to ensure that we're remaining who we are so like don't change what you would normally do on a day-to-day -day. if you, it, for example if you get up at 5 a.m right but you don't make your bed don't feel like you gotta get on camera and make your bed like just because everybody be making their bed right or like if you get up at 5 a.m. and the first thing that you drink is a cup of black coffee, like make your black coffee. You don't got to get a matcha because the girls like matcha. Like that's what I'm saying. Be who you are. Like you can still do these trendy videos because YouTube does like to push out a trend, but you don't have to fit into an aesthetic that's not you. That's all I'm saying. Because trying to put in, trying to put yourself into a box is only going to lead you to lose who you are and lose your sense of self. And I feel like I said earlier, this is a lot. Oh, lot. Oh. oh, okay, okay, I can fix this. I can fix this. <laughs> I feel like the minute that you start to put yourself into like another box, another space, is the minute that you lose who you are. And I feel like I was very close to doing that because I've talked about this on my channel previously. I just got laid off and I have always been into content creation for like five years now, but I just never took it seriously. And I swear those are the moments that I regret, but nothing that we can do about it now. And I was like this close to just doing the things that I know that people like just to get views, just to get, get just to get like subscribers, whatever, whatever. But it's like, is it worth losing who I am in the process? just to get likes and views and comments and you know like it, to me it's not worth it so you don't want to lose yourself just to get just to say that you make content you know just to say that you've got views just to say that you're a youtuber or a content creator like you can still be that with with 500 subscribers because you make the content when people ask me oh what do you do I'm a content creator like uh, it doesn't matter if I'm getting paid from it it doesn't matter if I'm you know got a whole band of thousands of followers and I work with brands every day no like that doesn't matter I'm a content creator that's that's what I am I think lastly I'm just about to powder up under my cheeks a little bit because I did I did a little bit too much bronzer but yeah that's all I really had like that's just how I've been feeling lately I'm just so, like, we all see it on TikTok. I wish, you know, I want to get back to the times. And it's just like, bro, people have to feel empowered to do that. Like, people have to feel empowered to to get back to when content was fun. Like, it wasn't all, like, boring low-key. That's what I just keep in mind. Like, I just want to have fun. Regardless. I want my stuff to look fun. I want my thumbnails to be different. I don't really want them to. I don't want to do the forest all the time. I want to stand out for myself. Um, let's do a little blush. A little bit of blush. So yeah, I guess that was really my whole rant. It's so funny how makeup has gone from concealer or i'm sorry from from a highlight to blush like crazy and then i'm just gonna set my face while that dry pull my hair back out or do i want it behind my ear i kind of think i like it and mascara and we're done. 
and we're done yay that was my little spiel about aesthetics like there's just know that there's always going to be an aesthetic there's always going to be an aesthetic that you could tap into the gamer girl aesthetic there the lifestyle aesthetic the gym girly aesthetic like there's always going to be an aesthetic but there's never going to be multiple yous there's never going to be another you always going to be another aesthetic never going to be another you so with that being said be yourself who cares about an aesthetic you can be all aesthetics in one don't label yourself and don't fall into the trap of just being an aesthetic type of girl be yourself be who you're gonna be and your people are gonna find you and are gonna mess with you because they love you <laughs> because they like who you are not who you're trying to be so be yourself that was my little spiel my little rant i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye